the Monday motivation was about relationships and how mm. to preserve them. Yeah. Joan from Somerset West. Hello, Darren. I'm 64 years old. 64 years old and married five times. Yes, I've had a lot of trouble with men. I've been in jail as a murder suspect as well for two nights because one of them died unnaturally. Oh, my goodness, Joan. You have a story to tell. Okay, hold on, Joan. First first one. First one. How long did that did that marriage last? It was round about three years. It's as if they have an expiry date. I grow so tired of them. So three years is, is the cutoff date. You go for the three-year itch. Yes, I look for something. I When I lived in uh, Swellendam, I started picking mushrooms and then I test them on number three. And he wouldn't die. <laughs> <laughs> what, he would not die? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's start from the first one. What happened there? My father didn't really like him. And we are, I, I was by leaf of my paw. Mm. So okay. I left him. I, I, I don't know. No, it, 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 they weren't. That bad, okay. maybe it was me. <laughs> I, I've got a gypsy heart. I okay, no, 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 clearly, um, um, clearly she, that's the case. She cannot be pinned down. Dad. At least you, she knows and she's honest about you're it. Like a hippie, like a mm. nomad for love. Mm. Yes, mm. yes, and then I gave up because I, I couldn't do it anymore. My children couldn't take it, but they have one father, luckily, so that's not that bad. Okay, so the second one, what happened to him? Because we know you, you, you tried to poison oh, the third one, one. The second one died. That that's, that's, that's my children's fault. He's shocked. I mm. pretty, probably would have kept him. He was very nice. <laughs> like how you say probably, possibly, yes. potentially. Yes. Okay, then the third yes. one, you you try, you gave him, you fed him mushrooms. Number three, that's us. Uh, well, yeah. Number three, no, he was terrible. He used to beat me. Oh, oh no. Oh. I'm sorry. So you were able to get out of there safely? Number, and then number four, I can't remember why I left him. It was, I think, <laughs> the three years were over. And then number five, it's like milk. He, he was he was uh, endurance rides, uit uh, uh, with horses. So he was top fucks. Or if they wake up in the morning, they go. Pff. I don't know. I can't take them. Wait, is that so your husband? Now, Does he make wake up with that sound? No, he's dead. Yeah, he woke up, woke up like a horse. And uh, they are terrible people. I couldn't take the endurance what rides sound? anymore. Sorry. What so, sound? How did he wake up? What sound would he make? Um, <laughs> like a horse. <laughs> but wait, but but wait, John. I don't get what he did. Endurance rides on horses. Yes, he he, he got his spring of colours. He was very well known. Do you, do you get on a horse and see how far you can go? I, d I don't No, he, he was the rider. I was the groomer. I had to wait for the oh. bloody horse to come in and give it water and things. I'm not a slave. Okay, and were you ever the horse? <laughs> that is the, the other thing. Damn. Sometimes he, he thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> and and who have you got now? Where are you, Joan? Are you on Tinder? Oh, no, are you on... I, I, I'm, I'm with my daughter now. I gave up. And if they look at me, I growl at them. I, I know, they, they really like me, but I, I'm done. I can't take it anymore. That's it. You're over. Close shop, eh? Yes, I don't know why I always fell for it, but it was always so exciting. And mm -hmm. now I'm just, I'm just tired now. I, I, I don't want them anymore. Mm, oh, okay. Joe, I would talk to you for hours. So are you there in the, in the granny flat there by your daughter? No, I live in the house. They, oh. they, they don't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> what to be on your own, hey? Huh? <laughs> Joan, you're a vine. <laughs> Joan is growing stuff there in the garden <laughs> at the back. <laughs> Adam? Adam? Yes, ma'am. Ek moet dit vir Afrikaans sê, ek is mal oor jou. Jy weet nie, jy het my dag gemaakt. Jy sou nummer 6 gewees. You know what, Joan? If it doesn't work out yes. between me and my wife, I'm coming knocking on your door. You and I in the granny flat there at your daughter's place. Oh, it would be so much fun. Then, I'll just look at you. Okay, you in Somerset West, eh? Yes, it's very close to you. Yes, because no, I know my wife will get the house, so I'll be looking for an abode. Don't worry, I'll be there.
Oh, thank you, Darren. You made my day. I'll be your number six anytime, Joan. <laughs> oh, thanks, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Joan. Oh, man. Love you, Lord. Cheers. I did it with Sharon and Sid. Oh, thank you, Joni. <laughs> thank yeah. you so much. Thank you, Joan. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ciao. Love Joan. to you. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, number six. Uh, producer Jean, just keep a number there. Please. there go. Get your three years, Darren. <laughs> How did she Joan. say the one of the ex-husbands woke up? No, the, oh, yeah. Like a horse. Like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and then she poisoned the one. The one died. Oh, no. Sadly, that could have been the one, as she says. The first one, the father didn't like her. She, Joni uh-huh. may have a couple of criminal cases. Mm. She might be at the courthouse on Thursday. <laughs> the most fun, <laughs> laughter, <laughs> and the most music to make you feel great. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Monday to Friday, six to nine a.m.